Hi everyone, it's Tess Leem here and it is my birthday week. Well, my birthday just passed over the weekend, but I'm stretching it out and milking it for all it's worth and continuing it for a little while, at least a bit longer. And I was thinking birthdays are really interesting because they kind of, I feel like they remind me of New Year's because it's like a new year, a fresh start. We're thinking back to like what just happened in the year that just went by and also looking forward to like what is it that we want to achieve in this coming year what what are our goals what are the things that we want to draw in what is it that we want to manifest and i'm sure you guys could tell from the videos that i've done previously that i'm really into manifestation and a lot of people ask me like what is it what do you think is the is the key like the secret what's the secret that you use to like draw in all these amazing things into your life and that's the topic of this video today i wanted to answer that question so for me there is a secret sauce let's call it secret salsa since this is these are often videos connected to the topic of dance that really for me speak to how it is that we can manifest anything in any areas of our life so before i say what the secret sauce is i want to link it to what i was talking about in my previous video that was kind of leading up to this video so in my previous video i was talking about alignment and how alignment can come in so many different forms it could be hitting all the green lights getting the parking spots while everyone else is you know getting frustrated driving around a block not being able to find parking it's um seeing angel numbers if you believe in that kind of stuff or you are thinking about something and you're not sure what the answer is and all of a sudden a song comes on and it kind of gives you the message that you didn't even realize that you needed. It could also look like doing things that feel that they were mistakes but they actually work out really well for you. Like maybe you took the wrong turn off a highway and you are like, shit, I just... I, I'm going to be late and why did I end up going this way and you feel like you're lost but then that wrong turn actually brings you to a right opening like it brings you to something that you didn't even know that you needed maybe you meet someone that really changes your life or gives you a message that you really needed or maybe it leads you to something that you didn't even know was there maybe it also allowed you to miss a traffic jam or an accident um, so alignment can take many different forms it can show up in songs in words in people in job opportunities it can also show up as I said in my last video in ways that give us opportunities to stand up for for our boundaries to like sit in our boundaries I was using examples in dance like if you're dancing with someone and you know alignment doesn't just mean that you're having all these perfect dances on the dance floor in actual dance scenes but also on the dance floor of life not everything doesn't seem to work out perfectly but you know because you're so in tune with yourself you're so aligned with your intuition your balance your trust of yourself and you know what it is that you stand for and what you're not okay with that you can speak out and say look that's not making me feel good or you know can you um do it this way because that hurts when you're um leading me in this way or or maybe you have to just step away from the dance floor and say sorry i'm not actually feeling this i'm not feeling comfortable with you and you sit in your alignment with who you really are and don't compromise that so every person has so many different goals for what they want to manifest 
and every person has so many different pieces of history that bring them to like what it is that they want to actually align with like you know some someone might want to manifest a car someone might want to manifest good health someone might want to manifest a trip somewhere someone might want to manifest the this amazing job opportunity but what I think it all boils down to is so I'm coming to the secret is what we believe these things or manifestations will make us feel so you might be saying, no, I actually just want the car. But I'm uh, what I'm saying is that actually when you think of having that car, maybe it makes you feel a sense of accomplishment. Maybe it makes you feel really free. Maybe it, you think it's going to make you feel really excited. Maybe you want to manifest a whole bunch of money and you are thinking, okay, well, I'm going to buy a house. I'm going to travel to places that I've dreamt of traveling to but even getting the house and traveling like it's the feeling that you think it's going to give you like the the house might give you comfort and stability or the traveling might make you give you a sense of exploration and and curiosity and and fulfilling dreams and that feeling is what you're searching for it's not the money it's not the it's not actually the house it's not the car it's all of those things are amazing if they come into your life but it's the feeling that you believe it's going to bring you and there's nothing wrong with those things but the secret to manifesting is actually conjuring up that feeling of what how you think this opportunity or this item or this trip or whatever it is is going to make you feel and conjuring that feeling in your system in your being before you even receive what it is that you want to manifest because <laughs> i get so excited about this that i i want to make sure that i um I'm still clear while I'm excited. Even that in itself, like the excitement that I'm feeling, it's like I'm building a feeling of maybe what I think a certain dance festival is going to bring me or what I think a certain trip somewhere is going to bring me, like that excitement. I'm not on the trip and I'm not at the dance festival. But the fact that my body right now is actually building those endorphins and feelings, emotions in my system, in my energetic body, means that I'm attracting a lot of those kind of, I'm going to draw in those kind of opportunities to me. And so when we do this, we're actually, it's an energy thing right it's like you're allowing the universe to see that you believe and trust in this energy and it is going to match your energy with things that bring you that emotion so i'm not saying that you just feel the emotions and you feel the excitement and then you just pretend that it's happening and, and you never get the house or you never get that relationship or you never get the money. Uh, no, what I'm saying is actually the opposite. The fact that you create the energy inside you, you create the emotion that you want to feel before you even get the manifestation, before you get the house, before you get the amazing relationship, before you get the, you know, dream job, you're actually creating an energy that life is like, wow, I, you know, I'm going to show that person, like the universe will say, I'm going to show Tessalim that I feel her energy and I'm going to mirror what it is that she's putting out in her emotions. 
by bringing her things that match that. So I'm going to bring her the amazing relationship or the house or the, the trip or the dance festival or whatever it is. And it's incredible how this happens because people think, oh, I have to do lots of goal setting. I have to work really hard at this. I'm not putting aside working hard. I've, I've done it all my life where I was like really, I think, working way too hard and not knowing about this energy side of things. And I think that's sad because we end up not realizing we don't have to do all the work ourselves. And the way that we don't have to do all the work ourselves is that secret sauce to manifestation is feeling what it is that you want to feel before you get the thing. So now you're probably asking, well, how do you do that? Like, what if you don't believe that you're going to get it? Or what if you've never driven that car that you want? Or what if you've never been in a house that is your dream house? Like, how can you conjure up that feeling? Look at pictures. Go test drive the car. Um, watch people that are in the types of relationships that you want to have and imagine what it feels like to be in it. Dream up your dream relationship, your dream partner. Imagine what it feels like to be held by them or to be, you know, spoken in such a like to feel so heard and respected and and um, loved by them bring that feeling into your into your body into your energy into your system so that's what you ooze out of yourself and then the universe brings a match to that energy so in the past, I definitely can see now that the reason I was getting relationships or homes or lack of like scarcity mindset, all of that was because my energy was in that emotion. Like I'm scared I'm going to not have enough money. I'm scared that nobody really is going to choose me um, in a relationship or I'm scared that I am not as attractive as that other girl so I have to work harder to win someone else's love or I'm scared that um, I won't be able to achieve the things that I want to achieve so that energy was just coming out of me and then the universe was matching that not because the universe is against me but it's like that's what you're putting out so that's what you're gonna get and now I just catch myself on it I catch myself on what I'm feeling so again the secret to the manifestation is how you feel it's kind of feels counterintuitive because you might be thinking well no I'm gonna feel good when I get that dream relationship or I'm gonna feel loved when that partner comes into my life or I'm gonna feel secure and grounded when I win that lottery or the money comes or when I get that dream job or I'm gonna feel safe when um you know I that um opportunity comes that I've been working so hard to try to get and but actually it's the reverse it you get those things when you feel the feelings that you want to feel from getting them <laughs> does that make any sense this was really hard for me to get in the beginning because I didn't totally believe it but the crazy thing is is that even if you don't totally believe it if you try it try to envision what it would feel like to have those things that you want to manifest just pick one thing and keep sitting in that energy you will see 
little by little and sometimes big by big how powerful this is. I am going to end there and just keep it short, but I will add to this concept in future videos. Thanks so much for listening. Let me know if you have any amazing manifestation stories or if you have any questions or if you have lots of doubts and you're like, I don't get how this works. I would love to hear from you because that actually will help me decide what I want to say in future videos. And thanks for listening. I will talk to you soon.